Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Hi folks, I'm Mal. Thanks so much for watching. Let's play some more Master of Orion in our Brains and Brawn series. Brawn. And this episode, once again, is otherwise known as Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. <laughs> That's what this series a, has become you about. Need to give them, you need to give them the context on that, just in case they didn't watch. Oh, yeah. Or actually, so, they're going to watch this episode before something else might come. Yeah, well, Mal made me do it again, basically. Um, I, uh, You're going to see an episode in just a little bit later today. We did a bonus episode, not full length. But we're, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, the current state of the AI, so stay tuned for that. But uh, when we started recording the episode, Mal, <laughs> that was not the plan. The plan no, was we no, were no. just going to record this episode. And then we had such a spirited, almost 10-minute discussion back and forth about our feelings on the current state of the AI and our, our love for the game and, and you know where we think there are still some areas um, – they could be improved in future patches. And then we were like, well, maybe we should just cut this one and let it be a discussion episode. And then I had this this lovely realization. They're like, oh, wait, <laughs> I, I see. I see. I sang the song once and you're going to make me sing it again just for double the embarrassment. So good job. Well played, my friend. It was this still is the though, last was, bromance series was, I will ever record with you. It was it was from a comment on your channel, though. <laughs> yes, it somebody was. Somebody said this series it something was. something and then they quoted the song. Yes, uh, because, because they were looking bleak for us. Because, yes, it, it was a great comment. It was, it was one of the best comments I've seen on the series, uh, if not the best. Uh, but uh, this is the third bromance series we've done. And every single time, as we mentioned in the episode that's coming up later before Mal decided to make it a short one which was a good decision but also kind of a, a way to embarrass me um was uh every time we've played these these series something has gone terribly terribly wrong um usually because i've been aggressively <laughs> forward settling and like hey i'm gonna i'm gonna try and do something really really aggressive and stupid here and clearly if everything will just go great nothing could That'll possibly go wrong just kidding so this was supposed to be quote unquote third time's a charm and instead Sound of Silence lyrics summed up perfectly how how it felt to be in episode three of this series. So anyway, we've got some we're two ideas. minutes into this episode. We've got some ideas um, on how to potentially yeah. salvage things. And one of them was a suggestion from uh, a community member that we're going to give it a try here in, in a bit, is that I am going to uh, get another colony ship and I'm going to colonize this system back here, the one that we were talking about Hadrian coming and taking. But instead of him sending his colony ship all the way over here and potentially getting destroyed on the way and the, the time, I'm going to colonize this and then I'm going to see if I could just gift him the system, which I should be able to do. Because you could certainly yep. you could certainly gift systems to AI players. I don't know why it'd be any different for human players. So we're going to try that in a bit. And when we left off, we had, what, the Akari were being aggressive and they're in your home system, right? Yep. They, this is my main concern. Again, as I mentioned in the, the, the little bonus episode you guys are about to see, so it's, it's weird. Like, I'm saying, as I mentioned, in an episode that's in the past for us, but for you guys, if you're watching this live, excuse me, it's in the future. So uh, this is... Uh, this is a little flock of, of Alcari frigates, no pun intended, or I guess pun intended, maybe, I guess, I'll take credit for that. Um, this is 11 Alcari frigates that have just randomly decided to roll up in my territory and start causing trouble. They're frigates, so they can't hurt my planets unless they secretly have bombs, which would be a dick move for the AI, but they could do it. Um, <laughs> I, but I, I, I do doubt it. I do doubt it. So I don't think my actual colony is under threat, but it is a, a strange show of aggression from the Alcari, which are way far away, which is part of the reason we had the AI discussion. So, um, so yeah, we're going to have to see what happens with them. I also have a colony ship that is one turn away from being completed on landed. And I have two destroyers standing by to escort it wherever it needs to go. So, I'm going to try to recolonize um, some of the systems uh, that I lost. For instance, uh, I just the humans destroyed a colony on CMAC 2. I'm going to try and just recolonize that world um, and see if I can hold my own against the humans while while also continuing to engage them. Is that where you're sending? Where are you, you're sending that colony ship to CMAC 2 right now, or Landon first? Right now. Uh, Layden is doesn't need anything colonized. I mean, are you saying I should colonize Layden 2, You think? That, oh, that medium toxic rich planet. You still have on Prime? I do. I have laid on Prime. Oh, okay. Okay. I realize yeah, that. So, I so yeah, I'm, taking... I'm going to go straight to CMAC because that's that's my next best colony that got, that was the first one to be destroyed. So, okay. so actually, no, it was, it was the second one to be destroyed, but it's it's one that I could recolonize without necessarily pissing off the humans even more. All right. Then I'll turn my ships around and send them back to that system then. Because right now I have them cool. going to laid on. All right. I'm ready to go to the next room when you are. 
cool. Well, I just switched. Colony ship two completed late on Prime. All right. Uh, all right. I've got all these fleets combined. I am now. <laughs> A uh, random Captain, Pl Captain Planet reference just jumped into my head. If you get it, you get it. Um, all right, so I am jumping to C-Mac 2. Okay. And, uh, okay, yeah, nothing else to do. So Ladon is currently undefended. Okay, the Alkari ship's left, which is not surprising. G -N -N. Mm. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you how it was going to be, I guess. Yeah. All right, so... I guess I can build something on Mentar now, which is good. This is a step in the right direction. Uh, let me go ahead and continue building. Uh, I need to build up a military force so I can defend myself a bit more. So tell you what, first, since I do have a credit deficiency, I'm going to, it's a three turn buffer again, before I have any uh, military ships being built, but I just, I have, it'll take only three turns for me to build a colonial revenue building. And I just think that'll be worth it. Um, it's a little risky, but considering that there's, there doesn't seem to, seem to be an eminent threat and that I have to rebuild quickly, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Makes sense. So my colony ship is currently four turns out from recolonizing CMAC 2. I'm continuing to militarize my systems. I'm concerned about the Sakura, quite frankly. Um, yep. You know, they have... I would be too if I were They've got you. the high score right now. Um, Yay. You and I are, <laughs> you and I are dead last. Um, so, yeah. And there's a pretty substantial gap. You know, they're at like 5,000 score, and I'm at 3,200, and you're at 2,200. So, <laughs> um, I'm a little concerned. I mean, it, I mean, all extreme, all extreme games are like that. You know, we have to sort of make it up yeah. the difference but um yeah i'm a little i'm a little concerned about them we'll see threatening fleet detected uh it's just the space dragon okay gonna keep moving i don't have a lot going on right now so i'm 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 gonna be cycling turns pretty quickly i hope that's okay yeah no it's fine i'll try to speed mine up then okay all right, Colonial Revenue Service has been completed at Mentar Prime. Late on Prime, I'm going to have a Starbase. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and buy a Starbase right now. It's four turns away. Well, no, no, I'm not going to waste those credits. Four turns, there's not an imminent threat. It'll be done building in four turns. I think I'm okay. And um, I'm just... still at war with the humans, right? Yes, still at war with the humans. But hang on, that reminds me. Let me, I haven't been checking on them diplomatically. Let's get, is this some kind? Fair is fair. We ask only our due. All right. They're saying fair is fair. We ask only our due. Which I, I just asked what would make a peace treaty work. And they didn't add anything more. And they said, I guess fair is fair. So. Yes. I'll okay. I don't know. Okay. Assault. Well, they agreed. Here's what That's just good. happened. Here, here's what just happened. It was really weird. My, Of course, my, my, my viewers saw it on my end. But let me explain for those who are watching Mal's side. Uh, I proposed peace, and they said no. And I was like, well, okay, what would make this work? And then that's when they made the fair is fair comment and didn't add anything to the deal to make it work. So I was like, well, uh, okay, I'll propose again. And they accepted. And now I have a harmonic disposition with them um, uh, and a 20-turn truce. But it says I've sent them a gift recently, which I haven't. So I'm hoping there's not some kind of bug where I just like gave them a colony that wasn't listed. Uh, we'll have to see. Hang on here. Let me. Farewell, friend. All right. So I have a twenty-turn truce with the humans. Uh, no. Everything looks good. All right. Well, we'll take it. <laughs> Heck yeah! We'll take All right. It. Fine. Solved. I am not at war with anybody, and I am not going to forward. I'm not going to forward settle the humans this I was time. Say, now, if you, you know, it would be best if you just yeah no. sort of stayed over it, there. It, it, it would. Be, it would be best if you didn't. Let's see. Pretty soon, Mal is just going to, whenever he's playing any Master of Orion with me, let's play or not, he's just going to be, uh, could you not? That'll be his response to my uh, 50, hey, uh, 50th you turn know, shows of aggression. You got to play the way you got to play, man. I'm just, you know. <laughs> By pissing everyone off for no reason because Hadrian. <laughs> um, the Martian Pride oh. has a significant 
fleet near me, and they just forward settled like right in my face. This is gonna. Don't this, tell me. This don't, is don't tell this me is that. gonna get interesting. Don't don't tell me that. So yeah, but it's okay. I'm gonna crank out some more military ships. It'll be okay. I am wondering what the devs will think of that interaction I just had with the humans, um, because, I mean, it it the game seems to think I gave them a gift as far as my disposition with them, which I didn't. So I, I don't I don't know how to interpret that. Um, we'll see. All right, I am queuing up some stuff at CMAC two. All right. I went ahead. I went it because it's a uh, appropriate biome. I can move that one pop out of food and into pr production. It's not growing right now because I haven't built the food buildings yet. But at least I can that way get now, the since uh, we're, production buildings. Since going. we're allied, it should be fine. It should not count as a blockade. So this group of five frigates, I'm just going to sit them right on top of CMAC two. If it give, if like it plan. does give you the blockade thing, then just let me know. Like okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll check. Eight seconds. Oh, well, fine. I'll pick a technology randomly and. All right. I actually, are your ships sitting at CMAC two right no, now? They're five turns out. Okay. Okay. I got really scared for a second. I was like, uh, I don't see. No, that. no, no. They're not there. <laughs> they're not there just yet. Take me a, <laughs> a second. glitch. Okay. Um, I am going to go ahead and buy. Now this is worth doing. Well, maybe I'll let a few more turns pass, so it's not going to use quite as much money. But I think I'm going to buy this automated factory when I have maybe 10 turns left, so I can save 10 turns on that, and CMAC 2 will build up a little faster. 10 turns faster, I'll take it, right? What are you going to buy? Automated uh, factory? The automated yeah, yeah, factory? I can buy it now, but if I, let it, if I let it get cheaper for 3 turns, and then buy it when it's 10 turns away, that's still a 10 turn advantage um, on the growth of that planet. So we're going to go for it. Is GNN. State, state of the, of the galaxy. galaxy. Hey, right. I don't think this has happened yet. Now the state of the galaxy. How badly do we suck? We suck. Oh, man. We suck horribly. Jeez. That's rough. That's rough. <laughs> oh, 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 no. All right. Starbase completed it late on Prime. All right. So I've got a Starbase now at... Oh, cool. Well, I've got a striking population, so it's not much good to move him. Um, hang on. I can fix that, though. Wait, no, I can't. Well, colonial revenue, definitely. Followed by... Uh, I do need more... Sh uh, actually, I need space factories is what I need. So I'm going to take a second to build some space factories so I can build some bases and actually have my systems defended. You know, that whole... Well, I've got... Um, that old chestnut. Neuro Prime. I have that militarized. So that, that point is at least somewhat covered. All right. And hopefully that keeps that border for us safe-ish, kind of. <laughs> the confidence is just overflowing, G -N -N. right? Yeah, so much. Oh, soccer. Oh, yeah, here's, here's great. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's awesome. War erupts between the Marchand Pride and the soccer brood. Great. Good. Great. Let them kill each other. Yeah, kill each other. Just. Oh, I skipped past that by accident. My bad. But yeah, you guys heard the news. That's good news. I need to re-up our right, trade agreement. Uh, Let me do that. Yes, please do. I, I I need the monies. Yeah, absolutely. I need all the monies. I need all the monies yesterday. Audience, nations, raid. How much is a research agreement? The research agreements are too expensive for what you get. Agreed. Like right now, that trade agreement's fifty-two credits, and the research agreement is like two hundred and sixty-two credits. And even once it's done, it only shaves like a handful of turns off of your current research project. This is, in my opinion, yeah. not really worth the money. That's I never do it in single player either. Do you? No, I do not. Oh, okay. I've got a new destroyer that just being that just finished being built at Mentar Prime. I'm actually going to leave them at Mentar. I need to start building up a defense fleet there. Um, the, the nice thing about Mentar right now, Mentar is completely built up as far as uh, buildable buildings, which actually means I'm a little behind on my research, but at the same time, it's nice to have a colony where, for the moment, I have everything done. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and buy that automated factory, and in one turn it will be mine. The game is saying threatening fleet detected, but I'm guessing it's just referring to the space dragon again because I don't see anything in the lanes. And I see your fleet. Yeah, your your five frigates are on their way to C Mac 2. 
appreciate the uh, the backup while I get rebuilt. You here. bet. You bet. Um, I have a couple of space factories on the way. One at Ladon and one at Mentar. So I'm I'm going to be building up my 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 perimeter, which I was not able to do before the the first human attack. Need to edit my design real quick here because I've got some more space for weapons. Well, hello there. Actually, I need to put bombs on this. I I don't like to. I like to do the specialized ships that totally carry bombs for me. But yeah, that's eh, all right. I'll do it on this design, I guess. Yeah. So I just re-upped my trade agreement with the uh, the Mersh Mershon, and the Sakura did not like it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Can't imagine why. Yeah, me neither. What's up with that? Um, yeah. And I finished my trade agreements. So let me re-up those with the Alkari. Very good. Um, Mentar Prime is looking nice and busy. And then I guess I'll re-up mine with the Marshawn Pry, but of course this is going to piss off the Sakura, so... But I'm okay with that because, let's face it, they're they're busy right now. They're at war, so I don't think I don't think they're gonna bother with us right now. So we need to build up as much as we can before they decide. Oh yeah. Hey, we need to go kill those guys. Like yeah, no, no, don't do that. Yeah. Don't don't. Well, that's that's what we're gonna mind do. Mind us. Okay. It just to to clarify your curiosity, it is not showing a blockade on CMAC two. So I think we're good. Oh okay okay good yeah I was curious. I, th I think blockades would only be a thing if we were at war, right? Uh, you can blockade even in, like, a Cold War status. Oh, I'm pretty okay. sure. Well, no, you might be right. You might be right, actually, come to think of it. Mentar Prime is one turn away from a space factory. Then I'm going to do a bit of pollution cleanup. And uh, how am I doing on research? Advanced magnetism is, oh good, two turns away from being done. Let me check my pop elsewhere. Yeah, I only have these three colonies. Man, turn 84 and I've got three colonies. This is, ugh, blah. Well, I don't have that many either. That's true. And I still want to colonize in Borea, like this this really nice Terran planet that's two jumps away from the Alkari, but I just I don't think they would like that mm -mm. very much. No, they most certainly wouldn't. But there is, don't forget about Zenithnida. Right. Uh, that has that has two awesome planets in it um, waiting to be colonized, and those are not as close. Well, actually, they're two jumps away from the Sakura, but would it piss off the Sakura since you have a system closer to me than, would that still count as close settlement is the question? I would think not. I don't know. That's a good question. They are, mili the Martian right now are militar militarizing the hell out of this Ruzan Prime. You know, part of me says... Part of me says, while they're fighting the Sakura, maybe I should build some more ships and go after them. I wouldn't be opposed. You know, you know me. I've got to rebuild. Hey, right this now. is cool. Like, I'm upgrading my ships at your space station. I just upgraded those frigates. Oh, cool! That's cool. Oh, awesome! I, could, I did not know that was I a didn't thing. Either. That was you, cool. You learned it here first, folks. That's awesome. I like it. Okay, got some research. Upgrade all. Uh, yeah, molecular manipulation so I can build atmospheric renewers. Destroyers upgraded, perfect. Hydroponic farm is almost done at uh, CMAC. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy this too. Um, just to shave another five turns off of uh, CMAX development because the hydroponic farm will help it grow a lot faster. Good, now it's officially growing. Now if I put this guy back here, I'm going to put that pop back in food so that the planet grows a little faster. The Marshan just destroyed a uh, Alkari scout too. Interesting. Yet they're leaving... So the AI is getting frisky with each other. Yet they're leaving my scout alone. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Hey, hey, I'll take it. Trade winds are blowing. A steadfast refuge amidst the chaos of the galaxy. The Alkari just proposed a trade treaty with me. I will take it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 
I am pleased. Free monies. To see the, the way to go. Blows us along Thanks, Mark Hamill. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Joker. AKA, AKA yes. Trickster. AKA Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. I think it's awesome, though, that he played Trickster in the original Flash show in the 90s and then comes back and plays it on the new one. That's just awesome. I know. How awesome is great. that? It was just it was great. great. My inner nerd and my inner child were very funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, I loved I was so upset when that show went off the air when I was a kid. I was like, oh, no, not the Flash. <laughs> I, I oh, wonder. Wait, this, I didn't. I didn't realize you're waiting on me. Sorry. I, wonder, I was just I wonder, sitting here talking about I the wonder Flash if this season. You know, because they're going to do like I guess some version of the Flashpoint uh, storyline. I, I I wonder. I wonder how it's going to play out. I hope it's good. Yeah, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna. Since I do need a military, it's going to take me some turns to do it. But uh, I think I'm about to get another pop that'll help with production on Mentor Prime. I'm going to go ahead and start building five destroyers. There you go. Because I do not want what happened to me at the beginning of this game to happen again. I want... Especially since... Troop transport We got check. a miracle reprieve. There we go. Yeah. I am so happy that the humans at least made peace. Like, that makes me feel as frustrated as we were with AI when it did that. You know, that feeling of, okay, well, maybe there was a bit of a Cassus Belli. Maybe there was, maybe there was maybe a reason there was they a reason, did that. Yeah. Now, now, if we could just negotiate with them, that'll make us feel better about the AI. And lo and behold, they're, oh, wait, 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 I need to shut up. I need to shut up. Because if I say this, what's going to happen is they're just going to randomly declare war on me. And then, I'm, yeah, so I'm just going to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I have no bad experiences with this game whatsoever. Nothing terrible has ever happened to me, let alone in a public Let's Play series where everyone's watching. All right. Realized I moved around some spies. I do this in the single player game, too, is I'll forget what I'm doing with them and I just move them around. I'm like, stop, stop moving them around. Yeah, just just okay. assign them. Just assign them a mission. OK, yeah, now the Sakura and Marshan are really going at it in that Rusum system. Excellent. It's great. The longer they can do that, the better. I'll have troop transport tech in four turns. Good. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and build a new colony ship on late on. All right, now what else can I do here? to help shore up against this non Now you've already closed off Mentar, right? In terms of I'm I'm working on okay. it right now. I, I now have I have two space factories uh hard at work. One is four turns away from closing from building one sta station on Mentar in the uh Alkari's direction. Uh and then I'm now at that uh, double jump point leading out of Ladon, one going to Horus and one going to Cmac. I'm building one there first. Okay. Um, I'm leaving a scout in Hadar by the way, just as kind of a early warning system for us. In in where? In Hadar. I'm just you know, I'm just leaving a scout there permanently for now. Hadar, Hadar. Hodor, Hodor, help me out. I don't what what where's where's Hadar? It's just by it's just down past Narib. It's basically the Sakura's closest point to us. Oh yeah. Hadar. Okay, yeah, see it. Cool. I'm just gonna leave him. I'm just gonna put him on sleep. I'm not even gonna put him on guard. I'm not trying to get it killed. I just figured, you know, cool. we'll just leave it there. It's just don't mind him. He's just hanging out. So be it. Mentor Prime has grown. Okay, good. That pop went straight into production. That's exactly what I wanted. That very rarely happens when the new pop just pops right into where you want it to be. I will not complain. I'm over on command points. Now my money's getting eaten up, but whatever. It'll be all right, I guess. I am buying biospheres at... Uh, CMAC 2, that's shaving off another nine turns. So I've been able to use the money from these trade agreements very effectively to build up CMAC 2 uh, to where it won't get crushed again. Or, oh, well, hopefully, hopefully won't get crushed. Yeah, again. hopefully won't get crushed, right. Jesus. After espionage, there we go. It needs orders. Okay, I got my second batch of destroyers. And then towards the front. Oh, this is interesting. The Sakura just offered me a non-aggression pack. 
Yeah. Really? Take the and hell then, out of that. And then the Marchand <laughs> are offering me a non-aggression pack, and they want to pay me 30 credits. Yeah. Wow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and decline that, which means that they'll probably declare war in a turn or two, but I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. And actually, on that note, I've just realized we've hit the 25-minute mark, so do you want to go ahead and cut this Yeah, plan? yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and stop let's go ahead and write this one up then. All right, cool. Thanks very much for watching, folks. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget Mal and I both have a series going so you can see the campaign from both sides. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along if you're not already. We're uploading new episodes in Brains and Brawn on both channels every day at 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT-4 for those of you not in the States. And comments are always welcome. Let us know what you think. Thanks so much for watching, folks. He's Hadrian. I'm Mal, and we'll see you later.